In this video abstract, I will talk about quantifying within individual elbow load variability in youth alley baseball pitchers and its role in overuse injuries. This article is published in Applied Sciences. Body parts of baseball pitchers are exposed to high loads. The combination of these high loads and repetitive motion induce upper extremity injuries. The most common upper extremity injury is the medial ulnar collateral ligament injury. 25% of professional baseball pitchers sustain a UCL injury during their career. The load magnitude is related to elbow injuries. However, the load magnitude on its own cannot explain why one pitcher sustains an injury and another does not. So recently we developed a simple explanatory model. And this model illustrates that a higher within individual load variability increases the injury risk. Imagine we have two pitchers and they both throw 100 balls and have the same average load, but a difference in load variability. While we assume that the UCL will rupture the injury threshold is 260 Newton, we can see here for this pitcher that the injury threshold is not exceeded. If we now increase the variability, and we predict again, for this picture, so a higher variability, will exceed the injury threshold and thus have an injury. It is not possible to quantify the UCL load during pitching, but we know that the external focus torque is a good proxy for the UCL load. Therefore, the aim of the study is to describe the within individual external focus torque variability of full effort fossil pitches and determine if this variability can be described by a Gaussian distribution. 11 youth elite basal pitches came to the laboratory and threw 25 fastball pitches. We measured their body kinematics with a Viking motion capture system at 400 Hz. The overall ball speed of this group, of this group was 77 mph. per hour. The pitchers threw from a pitching mount towards a square striking zone at a regular game distance of 80 meters. We calculated the external focus torque with a custom-made inverse dynamical model. The blue line shows the external focus torque from foot contact till ball release. The blue dot is the peak external focus torque, which occurs around the moment of maximal external rotation. We did this for each pitch of each participant, and this resulted in a dataset of 270 pitches. So here you can see on the y-axis the density plots for each participant, and on the x-axis the external focus torque. This figure shows that the within individual focus torque variability is present in pitchers and differed among pitchers. In addition, the load magnitude here defined as the average is also different between pitches, which is in relation to literature. The results also showed that the within individual focus torque was normally distributed in 9 out of 11 pitches. So what do these results then mean? Well, it's important to be aware that we did not investigate the relationship of load magnitude and variability with the elbow injuries. As I explained, it is considered that pitchers who are throwing with a higher load magnitude and variability might have a higher chance of sustaining injury. However, we have to be aware that they do not have per definition higher chance because also the injury threshold is of importance. If we, for example, compare these two panels on the left, they both have the same magnitude and the same load variability. However, the top left panel has a higher load capacity, here represent, represented with a red line, and this is a, has a lower chance of sustaining an injury. It is as important to understand the interplay between load magnitude, load variability, and the load capacity in the future to prevent athletes from overuse injuries. So next to the load magnitude, the within individual load variability seems important in injury assessment. To make it successful towards injury prevention, future research should investigate if load variability 
changes over time and if it can be minimized by pictures. So if you have any questions, ideas or remarks, feel free to contact me.